Hey guys, it's John Callum from KCHO Motorsport. This is actually supposed to be uh, a pair of videos, but I'm combining it into one. It's basically certain adventures that I've had uh, last year and uh, this past weekend with our project Elantra V6. So one was a motorsports themed car show, the Philippine Motorsport Expo. Uh, I was so lucky and uh, blessed to be invited to that one and the other event was uh, the first event of the 2023 super sprint gymkhana autocross series uh, they're organized by the same group so shout out to uh, sir robert tan mam jill and uh, the rest of the people that make up uh, the organizing team behind super sprint and the uh, Philippine Motorsport Expo. And uh, in with these two events, we brought Project Elantra V6. And so um, it was quite interesting and uh, I'll give some commentary uh, as the video goes along. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy a bit of a vlog uh, of uh, uh, two weekends in my life, in my motoring motorsport life. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So right now, I'd like to make this video, I don't know how long this is, to show you guys the rest of the people here also on display with their race cars. Okay, this is the display of Avengers Racing. They're a very popular race team uh, for the Vios Cup. And this is a Vios Cup car. Vios Cup cars feature the 1NZ. This body features the 1NZ engine, 1.5. It has TRD suspension, supposed to be has a limited slip diff, supposed to be uh, TRD roll cage and all that. As you can see, as OMP seats, standard issue for Vios Cup. These are the drivers, so I'm guessing this car was used on endurance. And this is Power Gregados Toyota Corolla AE86 body, rear wheel drive. I don't know what engine it has, but it seems to be turbocharged. I don't even know if this is a drift spec or whatever spec he's doing for circuit or whatever. Most likely it's a drift car. It also has a semi stripped interior. Most likely it's a drift setup. Another VS Cup car. Driven supposedly by Inigo Anton. Another one. These are the new bodies. So these are the current Bios Cup cars. I think they are running the 1NR engine. So this one is by Joaquin Garrido, this car. But it's also current generation Bios Cup car by Avengers Racing. This is a uh, Toyota 86. These wheels seem to be more expensive than my whole car. GT Radial SX2. Don't know much about this setup. It has an OEM TRD front splitter and uh, side skirt. And uh, very expensive uh, gram light wheels. Formula V1 by Ethan Works. Very nice wrap. Also, there, go kart. This is a very unique Miata. Supposedly it's not a Miata but an RX-7 underneath. Uh, it has a two rotor engine, very wide track front and rear suspension, endless brakes, five studs instead of the normal 4x100. Very interesting setup. I think the piece of resistance is the trunk. I don't know what that container is, but this is a fuel cell and with push rod suspension with coilovers. Not bad. This one crazy build. Okay, this is a Civic EK supposedly with a K20 engine inside. Still four studs, running 17 inch wheels. Looks like Rotas. Another Civic. You'll see a lot of Civics. Corollas, VSS in this thing. I don't know what engine this has, but this is fielded by Mr. Pobadora. 
sponsored by Carbon 101. Rotary Reeves, 15s, uh, wide front fenders, I guess. Carbon hatch. I don't think you can see the interior. Uh, I guess not. Okay, this is Team Cebu car, fielded by uh, Russell Cabrera. Current generation VS Cup car. Shout out to AAP Motorsport Development Program. I'm also a graduate of that. Okay, this is a rare bird here for the Philippines. Not so popular, but uh, we have this locally released. There's an important for this. A charger. Don't know if it's a Hellcat, but it's a 6.4. Don't know much about these cars. 6.4, Brembo front brakes. I don't know. Is this a Hellcat? You tell me. Or in GTA Online, it's a Buffalo. It's an SRT8. Charger. Not so familiar with these cars. Okay, this is basically a stock car. Uh, except for the tire stickers, this is a stock car. Okay, this is a y Yaris, Toyota Echo, Vits, whatever you call it. Uh, I think this is a Gen 2 Yaris. Fielded by Cody Nang. 1NZ engine, roll cage, 15 inch rotor reeves. Very popular racing wheels, popularized by the BIOS Cup. This is a Toyota Corona Exure ST191. Who owns this car? I don't know, but it has a cage, Recaro seats, again, expensive wheels, more expensive than my car. It's a Corona, it's a bit uh, of a big car, right? Touring car vibes, I guess. But uh, it's pretty cool to see a Corona race car. Okay, here's another Vios Cup car. Rotary wheels, again, very common, fielded by Mr. Santos, Ms. Desales, and Mr. Santos. This is the same racing team also, also fielded by the Santos father and son combo. This is their big body Corolla AE101 rally car. Promodoro wheels, as expensive as my car, I don't know. Yeah, the championship winning. Toyota Starlet, fielded by Milo Rivera, multiple plates, Driver of the Year awards for Milo Rivera. Honda EG Sedan, ESI body, it's fielded by these people. Uh, I talked to the driver and the mechanic of this car, and they say it's an endurance car powered by a ZC engine, a derivative of the... B series engine a uh, single cam and then let's take a look at the interior as you can see it has a bright seat momo steering wheel very sparse interior park extinguisher really fit for purpose it's really a specifically a circuit endurance car As you can see, this is another Vios Cup car with a different set of wheels front and rear. It is fielded by uh, Carbon Media, Mikey Carbonell and Mr. Barrera. Again, as you can see, it is basically a Vios Cup car inside with OMP seats, OMP steering wheel, TRD, roll cage, fit and fighting for the Vios Cup. Another car interesting here on display, Lancer Evo 5 CP9A. It's not running the Brembos, it's now running AP Racing brakes front and rear with both wheels. Uh, again, these are wheels that are more expensive than my car. Legit Evo 5. I'm guessing, I don't know if this is what they call an assemblution or a legit left, I don't know. But it has very expensive steering wheel. As Cobra seats, an expensive OEM OMP steering wheel. You can see the steering wheel is limited edition Rally Art steering wheel made by OMP. 
these are cars fielded by Mark Young Racing. So this this is a very well known uh, racing team. Their usual drivers are multi hyphenated uh, racing champion Carlos Anton and also uh, Carlos' son Inigo is running for this team. But uh, the younger young, Marky Young, is usually the guys fielding these cars. So you can see assortment of their cars. Two Honda EK hatches and this uh, Vios Cup car again. But that looks heavily dented. You can really see that it has been uh, used <laughs> very nicely in the circuit. Right now we're in the Toyota booth, Toyota Gazoo Racing booth, and you could see uh, their collection of uh, GR cars. This is the new GR86, looks pretty cute. And this car is, I don't know how it's possible to get an allocation for this car, GR Yaris. 1.6 liter 3 cylinder turbocharged 4 wheel drive uh, I hear that uh, to even get a wait list of this car is a shot at the moon so maybe someday in the future we would be blessed to own such a car this is a car again another Honda Civic EG hatch by Rocket Automotive Service and another Honda Civic, this time an EK, it's a rally car by the Thunders Rally Team. You see the big halogen rally lamps. Uh, these are very critical stuff, rally lamps. LED lamps for side view. Rough and tumble ready roll cage. Again, another car with sparse interior. This time with sparkle stuff. Okay, rose among the thorns. This is a Porsche. I don't know what type of Porsche it is. 9921, whatever. 9912. GT3, GT5, GT7. I don't know what this is. But it's a Porsche. Huge, 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 huge calipers. It says here it's PCCB, so it's probably the new new braking system of Porsche. This uh, ceramic rotors, I don't know. And now we're here at the Aguila Auto Glass Display. Another Civic. EK. Where the Petro Petron Blaze Racing Team. Uh, Honda Type R wheels 5x114 so this has a 5x114 conversion then this one is uh, well this car was recently used in a tarmac rally by David Feliciano this is Zafiro uh, we have this in the Philippines locally locally released left hand drive so instead of having Sylvia's S13's S14's as uh, rally cars, this is usually the budget rally car starter setup. So obviously this should have a very nice RB engine in it. I don't know much about this setup, but it is drift ready, tarmac rally ready, whatever. This is a GR Yaris modified. You can see the spec sheet here. So I also don't know much about the setup, but we can all read what the setup is. Here's a nice violet purple ube colored uh, Miata ND together with a C class 190E, 190D. No, what the heck is this? 190E. I don't know if it's a real Evo. 
there's a I don't know much about um, Mercedes but I know this is like a limited edition DTM inspired or an actual uh, car that they call the Evo 2 I don't know 190 E 2.3 cost worth I don't know I'm just saying words right now so another German car this is a E30 M3 looks proper because it has the proper fender flares maybe me thinks that, that Mercedes is the legit Evo 2 cost worth etc also but I don't know much about these cars to really tell you definitively without asking the owners and then here is the final car display uh, the one covered is uh, an E36 rally car uh, but this one is a uh, an RX-7 built by Hublink based in Clark Pampanga so this car is heavily modified I think it still runs the rotary engine I really say that the RX-7 FD body is like liquid sex it's so beautiful it's a timeless design but uh, what's stopping a lot of people me included from getting or seeking out these types of cars is basically the engine so you really have to be an enthusiast to really keep up with uh, the original style engine usually with other people with other countries they swap it with v8s or whatnot but it's a very beautiful car regardless of uh, uh, engine so guys this is the tail end of uh, the two-day event uh, where we displayed our Project Elantra V6 car so I was able to chat with the people that we know from the industry our friends uh, our motorsports family and uh, there were several people who appreciated our build even though the car looks absolutely stuck but uh, at least they appreciate the fact that it is quite Herculean task to be able to do such a project like this. It's unfortunate we were supposed to bring another vehicle for display but sad to say that uh, our all-wheel drive project is not done yet. So this is the one that is fully mobile, fully functional. It's not a show car but neither there are very few cars here that can be considered show cars. Again, this is a motorsports exhibition. So if, therefore um, our car is okay it's a bit plain Jane but that's the point of the project it doesn't have to look so modified to have fun with it right and definitely we have tested it in various um, disciplines of motorsport uh, hill climb slalom autocross uh, track days so this is a machine that uh, can really hold its muster while at the same time be very very 100% suitable to drive every day should we be able to afford the gas bill. that's it this is uh, some sort of blog that we have and uh, hope you guys uh, appreciate a day or two days in the life of uh, a motorsport professional so I'll see you guys in the next video